for long easy education in this session you are going to learn chapter 13 the book cabling content of this video is types of jacks ethernet cable color coding techniques so before learning the types of jacks what is a register jack a register jack commonly known as rj is a network interface used for network cabling wiring and jack construction that means the connectivity of between the two components in a network the primary function of the register jack is to connect different data equipment and telecommunication devices the commonly known register jacks are there are many the things which is given in your syllabus are RJ11, RJ45, RJ21, RJ14 and RJ61. So ethernet cabling components that means so the registered jacks given in the in our syllabus are the five. So the registered jack refers to the main physical connector that is said to be plug. A female physical connector is said to be a jack. RJ45 connector as a modular connector has gender. Plex or considered as male, while jacks or sockets are considered to be female. Modern Ethernet cable features small plastic plex on each end that is inserted into RJ45 jacks of Ethernet device. That means. Uh, the, if you are saying that we are having a network in our lab, in a computer lab or in a office, all the devices are connected with a blue color cable. Most probably it will be like that. The end of the cable is said to be the RJ45 jack. Here it is a female as it is termed as jack. So this is the example given or the image of RJ45 plug and RJ45 jack. So the first one is RJ11. It is the most popular modern form of our registered jack. It is found in home and office. Uh, this RJ is mainly used in telephone and landlines. So many of them are having telephone and landline connection, broadband connection. So you may check with your cable. When we look at the pin details of the RJ11, there are six pins. Where two pins give the transmission configuration, the two pins give a, gives the receiver configuration, and other two pins will kept for reserved. The two pin will have the positive terminal and the negative terminal. As we learned in the previous uh, video, there are many positive, negative trans uh, transmitter and the receiver pins. So each pin is having its own purpose. Then RJ14 and RJ61. RJ14 is the same as RJ11, which will be used for telephone lines, which has six pins, whereas RJ61 will have eight pins. So RJ61 will use the twisted pair cable with a modular eight connection. This uh, image is an example of RJ14. Because it's having only six pin. Then RJ21 connector has 50 pins with the 25 pins at one end and 25 pins at the other end. So the image is given here. It is also called the scam connector or affinal connector. Affinal is the connector manufacturer. RJ21 interface is typically used for data communication trucking applications. So each RJ, that means the register jack, has its own purpose. The next topic is Ethernet cable color coding techniques. There are three types of wiring techniques that is said to be color coding. This color coding techniques are first one is right through wiring, next one is crossover, next one is rollover. So what does right through cables? The cables used for Ethernet connections are straight through. That means these cable wires are in same sequence at both ends of the cable. Which means 
first pin of the plug on one end is connected to the pin of the first pin. The same, this one means here also it is one. So it is sequentially and straightly connected. The straight through wiring cables are mostly used for connecting PC, NIC card to a hub. This is simple physical connection used in printers, computers and other network interface. Next one is crossover wiring. If you require a cable to connect two computers or Ethernet device directly together without the hub. So when we use a crossover wiring means when there is a need uh, to connect the device directly without hub, then you need to use the crossover cable. Then the pass TX or X will be crossed, which means pin 1 and 2 of the plug 1, one end are connected with pins 3 and 6. 1 is connected with the 3 and 2 is connected with the 6. And vice versa. The easiest way to make a crossover cable to make one end of T568A color coding and the other end to T568B. So another way to make the cable is to remember the color coding used in this type. So the green set of wires at one end are connected with the orange set of wires at another end and vice versa. So you may have any one of the points to remember to explain the crossover wiring. As Specifically, connect the solid green with the solid orange and connect the green white with the orange white. Then, rollover wiring. The rollover cable is a type of null mode of cable that is often used to connect the device console port to make programming changes to the device. The rollover wiring have opposite pin arrangements. All the cables are rolled over to different arrangements. In the rollover cable, the colored wires are reversed. Yes, reversed in the sense one is connected to eight, and, and, by, and, and the, in the order is reversed. The pins on one end are connected with the other end in reverse order. So pro, rollover is very easy to remember. One is connected to eight, and you have to follow in the opposite direction. Rollover cable is also known as closed cable or console cable. It is typically flat to distinguish it from other types of network cabling and it is in light blue color. These three arrangements are used to perform an interface change but all the three arrangements transmit the data at the same speed only. Whether it is right through or crossover or rollover, the transmission speed is same. Have a recap types of jacks. So, one is RJ11, 45, 21, 14, 61. These things we discussed in our syllabus. So, 11. This register jack is mainly used in telephones and landlines. For one data line with programming register, uh, that is 8 pin 8 connector. 21 is a multiple up to 25 line bridged TR configuration. Then, 14 for Two telephone lines, six pin, six contact, and 61 is four telephone lines, eight pin, eight contact, or eight connection. Then the color coding technique, straight through cables. These cable wires are in the same sequence at both ends of the cable, one to one. Uh, crossover, the easiest way to make a crossover cable is to make one end to uh, T5688 color coding and the other end to T568B. And rollover wiring, the color wires are reversed on the other end. The pin of one end are connected with the other in the reverse order. So it's the easiest question to learn and remember. Thank you. Have a good day.